My name is uh, Bijan Madurai. I'm the Professor of Vascular Surgery at Guy's and St. Thomas's NHS Foundation Trust and King's College London. I focus mainly on endovascular aortic repair and I've been doing this for the past 15 years. As we learn more about which patients are suitable and as our technology, uh, including the stent graft design and ancillary equipment that we use improves, then the techniques develop further and further and therefore become applicable to more and more complex anatomies. But this means that procedures may take longer as they become more complicated and they involve more radiation exposure, for example, as these techniques are all reliant at the moment on X-ray guidance. A few years ago, uh, our group was the first show that both patients and, crucially, operators sustained acute DNA damage after performing uh, complex endovascular aortic repair. To be uh, not reliant on x-ray to visualize uh, uh, guiding uh, wires and catheters within the aorta is something that we had have been uh, wishing for for some time. So I think the fiber optic technology is a significant conceptual advance. There is a wow factor as to uh, uh, how it is feasible to navigate uh, in a completely novel way. Being able to use fiber optic guidance and less x-ray means that there is uh, potentially less of a chance for both the patient and the operator and the entire team in the operating theater to sustain DNA damage from background exposure to radiation. We have hoped for uh, technologies that allow us to perform these procedures without the use of x-rays. But it is very exciting now to have fiber optic technology actually in use in the hybrid operating theater in patients.